Okay, guys, so Emil and I, we decided it's time to do something with these chickens, huh? We already made soup. <laughs> Emil's really tired. It's late in the day. Uh, so we butchered these birds, didn't we? On a video about, gosh, a few days ago, I think, and it was a video about if you had raising meat and you found that one just passed and you didn't have time to butcher it, go ahead and butcher it. That's these five right here. They had bad legs. Some didn't pass. I think three of them actually, one passed and three had bad, or four had bad legs. So uh, what we're going to do is roast these guys. And what I put on these right now, I want to talk to you about seasonings too. Okay, folks, <laughs> get a grip of yourselves and get away from Schilling and McCormick, okay? There is other seasonings other than the 35-year-old seasoning that's in your cupboard in the house. My mom's laughing right now because she has those seasonings. That's what I grew up on. Uh, get some fresh seasonings, folks. Replace them every year, if not more often. Get rid of that crap. It's not helping you. <laughs> this is turmeric with, uh, what else did we do? Paprika. We did paprika. I think it was a smoked paprika mm -hmm. with turmeric, salt, garlic, and I'm going to add a little pepper. And what we're going to do is roast these guys. I'm going to plop them in on broil. We're going to get them all roasty and toasty, aren't we? Then, yeah, that's a parsnip. And then when we pull them out of the oven, we're going to put them in a pot with a lot of water and start cooking them down to get the meat off and get an incredible bone broth that is like delicious chicken jello. Mm. So uh, tune in, guys, and we'll come right back as soon as I pull it out of the oven.